Welcome back to our halftime show here today. We're debuting a brand new segment on today's halftime show between Grayson County and Edmondson County called Cougar Conversations. Sam Gormley now joined by the starting quarterback for the Grayson County Cougars, Hunter Felty. Hunter, I appreciate you taking the time. And the first question that I really wanted to dive into is this is just going to be getting to know some of the athletes on campuses these last two years. You had in 2020 a COVID year where everything was weird, and then last year you had a game canceled due to that, and you were in and out of the starting lineup. Can you put these last two years into words? I don't really think that you can put them into words. It's something you just got to go along with as you play. You never know when you're going to get to play, who's going to play. There's things on and off the field that you can't really control. Now, last season, you got multiple starts. I think it was four at the end of the season uh, combined. How have you improved as a starting quarterback since that point? I've learned to like read the defenses better. You can't really teach it in practice because those guys that you're playing against ain't starters. They give you a good look, but it ain't nothing like playing on Fridays. Kayla really helped me out just talking to me on the sidelines as he was out for uncircumstanced reasons. Speaking of Kaylor, uh, he's joining us in the booth this season talking a little bit about uh, what's happening on the field, but what was that relationship like in making you into the quarterback you are today? Everyone thought that it was like a rivalry, but no. Me and him was really best friends, always trying to make each other better and never really having a big ordeal who's starting and who's not starting. Are you a person or a player? I know that I, I'm a big Bengals fan, I fully admit that. And Jamar Chase, who's one of the wide receivers, may be the best in the league right now. I can say that because I'm a Bengals fan and I'm, I'm biased 100%. But he, every morning when he wakes up, he looks in his bathroom mirror and listed on there are his goals for the year, whether it's uh, X amount of yards, X amount of touchdowns. Are you a goal person? Do you have something like that that you look at every day? Or are you just whatever works? I have team goals. I really don't say goals for myself. Team goes, I want to try to go 7-3. and three. For sure, I have a winning record, but for personal goals, no, I don't set them. As a senior and also the starting quarterback this year, do you feel an extra obligation to lead some of the younger players? I do. I feel like they're watching us. They're going to follow in our footsteps. So how we teach them is how they're going to come up the next four or three years. When you close your eyes and imagine how good this team can be this year. You mentioned the seven win mark or a winning season. What do you see and how do you accomplish that during this year? Uh, I see that we can we can spread the offense out or we can get in the eye. Up front, we're, we were struggling at the beginning of the year, but I think we're getting it together. But I think we're better of a spread team there. Now, what we're gonna do here is, uh, probably as the season goes along, I'll have more of a creative name for this, but it's gonna be called kind of a speed round. So it's going to be just kind of these quick questions. I have 10 of them for you. And really, first thing that comes to mind is some of them might be about your teammates. Some of them might be about you just in general. So the first one that I have for you is pregame music. Is there anything you got to listen to before game? Rap, hip hop. Now, what about, uh, are you superstitious at all? Is there, do you have to eat something before a game? Do you have to put a, I know that there was a Kentucky player that had to put a dollar in his sock. Are you any, anything like that? I got to eat chicken and rice before the game. That's the only thing I'll eat. Chicken and rice. There you go. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now, what's the first thing you do after a game? Shower. It's usually probably, especially on days like today where it's, it's, it's really warm. Coach Jones is upset at you on the sideline. What's he more than likely saying? Get the ball back. Be ready to throw. Take a normal drop. When you're looking at your teammates, I have here some superlatives of sorts. Who's the most likely on your team to pull a practical joke on someone? Michael Wood. Who is the best dancer on the team? Dalton Russell. Dalton Russell, okay. Who is the most likely that could perform a successful stand-up comedy routine? Waylon Bruce. Waylon Bruce. Who of your teammates could win American Idol? Nah, none of them can sing. <laughs> none of them can sing. Uh, if you all had, I don't know if you're a wrestling fan, but if you all had a team-wide Royal Rumble, who wins? Sorry, Drake. What about if the coaching staff had a Royal Rumble? Who wins? Coach Jones. Coach Jones. Okay. And then the final one that I have that's always a lot of fun. Can you do an imitation of Brian Jones? We'll just imagine you. Maybe we'll do Photoshop here and put a beard on you. I can't think of any right now. Well, that's fine. Uh, Hunter, I appreciate you taking the time. Good luck this season. I know we're excited to see you all year, and hopefully it's a really long and successful one for you. Thank you. That's Hunter Felty, the starting quarterback. Our halftime show continues here in just a few minutes.